Uh, very good. So in this workshop, we're going to go over everything about chatbots, okay? Everything that you need to know and, and you know, uh, and, and you can make a decision if this is something that is interesting for your business or if it's something that's just completely not. Um, yeah, uh, you'll be able to make that decision by the end of this hour. Plus, you'll be vastly entertained if only by my hair color. I don't know. Uh, anyway, uh, hope to get to all your questions uh, and, and answer four basic questions. What are bots? What have I been screaming about for the last two weeks? What do they do? Why are messenger chat bots important? How easy are they to set up? We'll answer that for you. And how can you use them in your business? We'll do a little brainstorming right at the end that will help, you know, help you get to know how you might be able to, to uh, use it in your business. I'll certainly explain how I've been using it in my business. And uh, that's going to be awesome. Um, chatbots equal the best. You know what? I agree with you a thousand percent, Stacey Spensley. Uh, I agree with you uh, because this is not... This is the results that I've gotten from using a chatbot for three weeks are nothing like the the results that I got from anything else that I have tried. Um, I'll be sharing with uh, be sharing that de those details a little bit later, but absolutely they are where it's at for me right now, and uh, I'd love to share with you what I know. So, uh, who I am very shortly. My name is R.J. Redden. I am. Uh, the Queen Ninja Guru, as it says on my shirt. Whoops, wrong, wrong way. Mm. Um, it says it on my shirt, babies. Uh, I, uh, I love technology. I love new marketing stuff. I love marketing on Facebook. That's one side of my business is the technology stuff where I walk people through Facebook ads, uh, messenger bots, obviously, uh, you know, live streaming stuff. I, I walk people through some really specific stuff in order to get their name out there and market that fabulous solopreneur business that y'all have. Uh, or nonprofit. Uh, so that's one side of my business. And then I also have the life coaching side of my business uh, that focuses on focuses on accountability, productivity, those kinds of issues that I know that solopreneurs have, that uh, people who have started companies that, you know, have five people or more, they don't have the issues that solopreneurs do. I focus on in my coaching on solopreneurs and how to make dreams happen. So that is all about me. Well, that's not all, but that's all I'm going to talk about right now. Uh, and uh, so that's a little bit about me. Um, what are bots and what do they do? So now I'm going to take a moment and I am going to share my screen with you. And uh, I've got, I've got mm, about... 10 slides come in total, uh, and they're only going to be on for a short amount of time. So let's share my screen here. Boop. And here we go. Okay. Can you all see my screen now? Um, don't know that I'll be able to hold on. I want to make sure that I can uh, can see. And one new message. Screen shared. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. That is awesome. You guys are the best. Okay, so let's hit play on this bad boy. All right, a chat bot is very simple, everybody. It's just software that talks to people through their chat apps. Today we're going to really focus in on Facebook Messenger um, because I, I think that that is, it's an incredible application. But chatbots will also work with uh, things called Slack. If you know a little about Slack, uh, team communication, chatbots will also work with uh, you know, other other types of, of chat applications like the Snapchats of the world. Uh, there's certainly some bots uh, on Twitter. Uh, that's a whole nother conversation. But a chat bot, all it is, is software that talks to people through chat apps. When I say bot, most people think automatic robotic communication uh, that sounds, you know, like a machine. Untrue. 
a chat bot is really something it's software it talks to you through your, talks to people through their chat apps but it also allows me to come in as a live person and continue the conversation when necessary so that is uh, that's an important thing to know my friends because I've certainly take advantage of taken advantage of that uh, with my chat bot and it is it, it is really a profound thing uh, when it starts working for you so I'll explain all that later but just wanted you to know this is very simply what it is, what it does. We're going to focus on Facebook Messenger because I think that's where the best market is at right now. All right, kids, what will this thing do for you? Now, first off, <clears throat> create real connections with people you've never met. Um, this is happening to me. I created a chat bot. Uh, it was about three, three to four weeks ago. Can't remember exactly which day I started creating it for a one-on-one -on -one client that I have who asked me uh, to create something for her. I had been, uh, I've been doing accountability stuff with my coaching clients for a long time. What I had was I had something where you had to click out, go to a website, try to fill it in on your phone. It wasn't working for her. She's, she's a mom. She's got tiny people running around wanting food, all of these kinds of things. She asked me for something that was easier to work with. I had run into these chat, these chat bots and it just seemed like a really great fit. Um, so, uh, what the first thing that, that this accountability bot, and I'll tell you the full story of that in just a bit. The first thing that it, it does for me is that it creates real connections with people that I've never met. I created a bot, a bot that helps keep people accountable. People answer some simple questions for me every day. And through that, I've been able to connect with people on a personal level. Um, and, and that is some amazing stuff. Okay. If you've been in business a while, if you've been sending uh, an email newsletter out to, I don't know, a billion people every Sunday and maybe getting three or four responses back, this, this first point I think is going to interest you very much. Um, email, uh, email is not dead, uh, but it has been used as the main mode of communication for so many things for so long and so many people have abused it that it's no longer creates a really special connection that people remember. So that's the first thing that it, it, it'll do for you is create great connections with people you've never met. Secondly, it makes that no like and trust factor instantaneous. If you do a bot right, if you write it in the same kind of language that you express yourself in, if you make it an authentic expression of yourself, for instance, my chatbot, if you, uh, if you have gotten into this thing, it's, it's a little bit funky. I've got I've got little cartoons of myself all over the place. Uh, I I I use humor a lot. I use emojis. It is exactly like my personality. So by the time someone gets to a phone call with me, they're not like, "Why is she so weird?" <laughs> it instantaneously makes that no like and trust feature, um, and it, and it does so without you having to do a whole lot of interaction live. Um, so works while you sleep, that kind of a thing. I know that that's always attractive for folks. Another thing that it does is you can now use that freebie to qualify people you want to work with. Okay, let me explain the freebie thing. If you don't know the concept, it's this. It's when you go on a website and you're reading an article and all of a sudden something pops up and says, hey, do you want the 87 ways that you can take over the wor world with digital media? You can download it free right here. And then you go there and they want your email address and your name and you get this PDF delivered in your email. Um, so what a chatbot does is through, through a series of posts, could be once daily, could be twice daily by, like mine, but it's, it posts more of a conversation with people. You can use that freebie, that PDF download, 80, 87 ways to take over digital media, you know, whatever it is, right? You can use that, you can deliver it to someone right in their Facebook Messenger app. You don't have to deliver things through email. We'll get to this later, but a lot of people consider email something that they have to use for work. They don't care about reading their email. They care about reading your messages. 
And that is a big deal, my friends. So those are three things uh, that this will do for you. Other things that it could do, it could totally, it could change the way you use email marketing. Email marketing still alive, uh, absolutely. It has a place. It's just that what if you could bring the content of that email, the content of that, that freebie deliverable into something that somebody is going to actually read, that they actually want to put their eyeballs on? that will change things for you. If you're like me, that will change things for you. So moving on to the next slide. So who's using bots, everybody? Just want to give you a teeny bit of background, but Hipmunk, it is a travel place. Uh, you can now book your entire trip, hotels, airfare, car, without ever leaving the Messenger app. Pretty craziness. Uh, pretty do craziness. Uh, also, 1-800-Flowers is using them. You can order flowers, uh, pay for them, all without leaving the Messenger app. Uh, that They've got a great bot going on. I've checked that one out. Also, CNN. Uh, don't know how you feel about the news these days, <laughs> but if you'd like to get it from CNN, uh, they will uh, they'll give you that opportunity through their Messenger app. And Note, too, that all in all three of these uh, particular examples that I'm using, you've got opportunities to do different things. So, for instance, on the CNN bot, don't know if you can read that, um, but it has, it, it has a little bit of a story up there, and then it has three options. Read the story, read the full story, get a summary, or ask CNN. Um, and then the bot will do what the user has asked it to do. Um, that is a very important thing to know. Let me get to this, uh, let me get to this chat right here if I can. Uh, mouse is doing some weird things, obviously, because you know, it's time. It's always time during a webinar to do a weird, weird thing. Uh, let me get to that chat in just a second. People can choose their own adventure through your chatbot. They can choose the kinds of information that they want to learn about. What does that do for you? As a marketer, as a person who is trying to get to know their audience, this gives you endless amounts of feedback on what people have already been educated about and on what they want to hear next. That's amazing. Uh, we'll go over through that. We'll go through that again in just a minute with a better example. But just wanted you to know, big brands using bots, babies. Also, tiny brands like. RJ Redden. Uh, this is the message that most of you got when you signed up for the Accountability Bot. Um, this is uh, something that a lot of solopreneurs are grabbing onto right now and starting to change their marketing practices. So um, now let's do a little bit of a comparison real quick between email, what people are doing with standard email marketing, and what people are doing with bots. So first thing that this thing provides, bots provide, is a frictionless entry into your communication space. We all know, we've all felt how busy people are, right? Maybe you're like me. Maybe you've spent an hour on a Sunday writing out that email, genuinely speaking in your own voice, attempting to connect with your clients, with potential clients, uh, all of that kind of stuff, only to send it out and get basic crickets back for it. Um, we've all done that, and yet we all are told, get people's email list, get people on your email list, build that list, build that list, build that list. If Facebook burned to the ground tomorrow, would you still have a customer base? Um, all valid stuff, uh, all valid stuff, but what the Messenger bot provides is a frictionless entry in your communication space. Let me show you how it does that. So here's your standard uh, subscribe box. If you go to rjredden.com right now uh, on certain pages, this is in the footer, just asking you for your email address to sign up. What happens here, though? You put in your email address, you hit sign up, and then because I'm, you know, uh, I'm smart about my marketing, you've got to then go back to your email and opt in again. Um, so not only do you have to put personal information in there, then you've got to go out to a second step and opt in again for the email. Okay, so compare that to this. Oh, there were words there. Personal info and then a confirmation email. Okay, now this. Compared to this showing up on your screen. 
what are the what are the parts here we've got send to messenger with that messenger icon that everybody instantly recognizes there's over a billion people on messenger and there's only eight billion people in the world my friends uh, everybody recognizes that icon and then right below it there's a picture of you with your name um, if all of that is correct all you need to do is hit the send to messenger button when a when a person does that they are instantly into your circle there's no putting in of personal information facebook already has your information there's no double opt-in in your email inbox there's nothing there's a click of a button and you and they are in your personal communication space okay here's another thing uh, that really separates this out from other communication methods it's interactive by nature so take a look at the following bam hello it's a great big block of text some of you got this email uh probably a week ago sunday uh that talks about this very workshop and uh you know about bots and how crazy i am about them right now if you look if you squint at it it's a huge block of text i put some bullet points in there because i know people scan they don't like to read i have the shortest paragraphs humanly possible and then i have three opportunities i have three links in there they're blue you can see them where you can interact with me you can either sign up for my bot or you can sign up for this workshop um, and those are the three links those are besides hitting reply those are the only opportunities you have to talk back during that interaction let's compare that with Facebook Messenger oh that's giant block of text and here we go uh, the this is a couple of screenshots from my phone about accountable accountability bot here it is it resembles a conversation i am asking you questions you are responding either you're responding by hitting a button or you're responding by writing down what are your goals for this day it's much more of a back and forth conversation which my friends isn't that what we really want to have with people we want to have it as much with people as much as they want to have it with us i want to qualify people before they get to me I don't want to wait until they get to me because then that's a waste of my time and theirs if they're not a good fit for me this does it ahead of time and it does it because it resembles a conversation as opposed to a one-sided listen to me listen to me listen to me scenario okay very good now here's another thing chat bots allow people to choose their own adventure now on this particular screenshot you'll see that I'm announcing uh, the workshop uh, this workshop actually the one that I put on last Thursday that was just like this um, and I, I give them all the information and then at the end I say either sign me up and we've got some little emoticons on there little emoji or we've got a not right now if people click all not right now I tag them and I send them into a group that says this person really isn't interested in hearing about Facebook bots anymore guess guess what kind of messages I'm never gonna send them in the future Facebook bot messages about about building Facebook bots they might be interested in other parts of my business the life coaching side the Facebook ad stuff the website building they might be interested in that and they're still totally they're still totally up for it but they're allowed to sign to opt in to the messages they want to get and that my friends is huge Facebook's all or Facebook emails all or nothing you're either subscribed to somebody's list and you get everything they got or you you know you don't get anything at all this allows people to opt into the kinds of information that they want to get which ensures that if they're still in there if they haven't typed in unsubscribe yet that they're somebody who wants to listen to what you have to say that is so, so amazing so the cool bonus is uh, when when you're able to do things like this when you allow people to choose their own adventure they are while answering the question that you've posed they're giving you feedback what they want to hear what they don't want to hear that kind of feedback is absolutely essential when you're marketing to people because now you know a little bit more about your target market and you'll be able to send more directed and focused messages to the people that want to hear about that thing there ain't no way to do this in email kids uh, there ain't no way to do this in email so 
uh, allows you to iterate and experiment because you can tag those user responses. Uh, I am uh, no secret putting on a class. Uh, starts July 1st on how to build these messenger bots. Uh, in, in that class, I teach you how to tag people and how to uh, subscribe and unsubscribe them to different parts of your bot so that they get a, true, a truly good user experience, which is what you want. It's what they want, and I will tell you, it is also what Facebook wants. Um, so enough about that. All right. Emails all or nothing. Bots are choose your own adventure. You got that probably five minutes ago. All right, moving on. Why are may Facebook Messenger chat box important? Uh, really, it's because it's where the eyeballs are. If you'll take a look at the following, this little survey was taken by App Annie. It's a trusted space on the internet for statistics on how people use the internet. It was taken in 2015, so uh, the you know the uh, the information is uh, potentially about two years old right now. Can't wait until they take this out, this thing again. Uh, but for now, this is what it was like in 2015. If you look at the three age groups on there, the only one that uses email in, at about the same rate as they use messaging is the 45 plus age group. Everybody else, the messaging is more important. The messaging is where they want to put their eyeballs. It's where they care about reading stuff. It's where they care about getting their information. People don't care about reading their email. They do care about reading their messages. So I'm going to stop the sharing for now, and I'm going to uh, appear back on screen here if I can. Whoa. Okay. Here we go. <clears throat> I will stop the share, come back on with you guys, and catch up with the chat all, all the way here. Uh, I would be more willing to read the news without a comment session. Oh, wouldn't that be fantastic, darling? Those comment sections are a cesspool sometimes, aren't they? Um, but very, very good. Okay, uh, so with me so far, any questions, throw them in the chat. I will be uh, totally all about answering them. Um, very good. So um, that's where the eyeballs are, everybody. Let me ask you a question right now. When was the last time you really connected with somebody? If you have an email list, when's the last time you connected with somebody over that email? I know that I've written three or four emails probably in the past, uh, probably in the past six months, in which people have actually hit reply and said, you know, that was valuable information. Or I'd like to keep that in mind, yeah, RJ, thanks for the info. Some kind of a nice comment I've, I've gotten three or four emails where I've gotten a few comments back, um, which is really great. But it's not something that really continues a conversation very well. Um, it's not something that, you know, people kind of keep coming back to and want another response from me. It's not, it becomes inappropriate after a while. Um, so that is, I mean, that's something to keep in mind. When's the last, I know if you're a marketer, you're putting a lot of, Probably. You're putting a lot of effort into that email list. When was the last time you really connected with somebody? Another question. Uh, again, if you've got an email list, do you collect names for your list because you want to? Or you, do you do it because somebody told you you should? Um, that's, that's something to think about as well. Um, there's so much advice out there, you guys. If you were to go after this workshop, obviously, if you were to Google mar free marketing information for businesses that are just starting up, you might have to walk away physically from your computer because there is so much free information out there. But the problem is some of it conflicts. And the problem is, uh, the problem is a lot of people are still so stuck on the email train that that's what they'll tell you over and over again that's really important to building your business. Listen, if the eyeballs aren't there and if the connection isn't there, you may want to reconsider your strategy and use these bots instead. I am going to read a comment here, a couple of them actually. Uh, Stacy says, I struggle with emails. Since if I do, I get a, re get a response, I feel the need to sit down and write back, but I'm usually on my phone since I only work two, three days a week. Also, a couple of small people who demand your attention. Uh, yeah, your phone's with you all the time. 
your phone's with you all the time. Um, being able to answer messages on that is really important to people. Um, I'm sure you will address it. Uh, Ryan says, I'm sure you'll address it, but my ADHD compels me to write this so I don't forget. Excellent, my friend. Good strategy. I see the validity to this for a service-based business, plumber, pest control, lawn care, etc., or for coaching, consulting, content creators, and the like. But how can this benefit a product-based business? Excellent. Okay, good question. So let's stop and answer that right there. Um, well, if you, if you don't know Ryan, Ryan is a woodworker extraordinaire and uh, works uh, works out of his garage, builds uh, builds products that that it builds games uh the cornhole which here in nebraska that is a staple you have to have it in your yard or else they'll kick you out of nebraska um <clears throat> built, you know giant connect four games uh games he's a woodworker who builds games that people play and have fun with how would a bot benefit a product-based business? Um, I can I can answer that for you because I have I have a website building business. Uh, you know, as it's the same business as all of these, but I have a website building uh, side of my business. And what I do is the bot that it will answer the question: How do you choose a website builder? Should you do it yourself or should you should you contract for it? What I did was I put my I put myself in the shoes of the customer that I want to have right before they're about to buy my product, which is I'll build a website for you. So so I put myself in their shoes and I go, what questions are they asking? What are they looking for on the internet in the moments before they buy something from somebody? There are millions of website pe people build websites out there. Can I produce something that answers a question that they might have right before they're looking to buy something? Um, that's how you would. That's how. That's how I go about marketing a product-based business with these chatbots. Um, let's see. Uh, Grammy says I need to be friends with Ryan. You all need to be friends with Ryan. Uh, he is a lovely human. Uh, very good. Stacy says, couldn't it be like having a F FAQ page without needing them to find it on a website? Oh, yes, Stacy Spensley. Yes, Grasshopper. Yes, Grasshopper. Uh, we will talk about that in just a minute as well. Um, how, you know, n websites are necessary not for necessarily selling your product or things like that they're sort of, they're necessary at this point for a validity check people want to know that there's a real person behind that business uh they you know they want to know that kind of stuff they want to see if you've worked with other people uh they want to kind of get a feel for you but it's not necessarily completely necessary to run a business from that nowadays especially with this technology and one of the ways you do that, of course, Stacy, is what you pointed out, having that frequently asked questions. Um, one of the things you can do with these bots is if, if, your, if your user types in a certain keyword, the, the chat bot will bring them a certain type of message. For instance, you could go into Accountability Bot right now and type RJ and it will summon me into a live chat. Many chat will ping up and it will tell me somebody wants to talk to you and then I get to go to that conversation um, and and have a conversation with somebody. So you could do that as an FAQ. You could do that for um, how long is it going to take to get my product, Ryan? Um, then you could have a chat bot automatically re retrieve that information. You set this ahead of time with keywords, but chat bot retrieves that information and displays a message. You can plan on uh, from from the time that you put your deposit down to the time you get it, you can uh, for a custom product it's two weeks. I'm just making the I'm making the facts up now, Ryan. Uh, that may be different, but uh, just in order to answer the question. So uh, so having people get to know you and know your business and know why you're in business and how you're in business. So I mean. People, the know, like, trust factor, we talked about it earlier. We talked about getting to people to know, like, and trust you even before you get to talk to them in person. And if you have a product-based business, I want you to tell me in the chat, but what led you to want to work with wood? I want to know, if there were 70 woodworkers in a room, Ryan, 
and I were trying to pick who was going to build me that uh, that awesome ca freestanding Connect Four game that we're going to play at the next family reunion, uh, and I'm going to be the rock star for bringing this thing in. I want to know a little bit about you, why you do what you do, how you do what you do. What's the kind of person I'm going? I'm thinking about doing business with. That would I would I would say see that also as uh, being being important to a, uh, a product based business. Um, okay, uh, let me scroll through the chat here. Uh, for products, you could have a new item script so people who subscribe to your bot get the first look or work in progress photos before it's up on the website. Excellent, uh, another excellent idea. So. Uh, Ryan, I know you make several kinds of games already. Uh, I also know that you do custom work. We, what you can do if people are subscribed to your chat bot is, is publish those in-progress photos and get people excited about that next idea you're working on, um, which, uh, which is really, ni really nice. When you've got a product, you can do those work in progress. And they can be photos you take with your cell phone. They do not have to be perfect. Um, but just what you're posting on Facebook, what I've seen you post in Facebook in the past when you've got something finished and you want to show people, or you've got a new idea that you, maybe you've got a new, new idea that you want to develop and you want to get some feedback on it. You can push that out to your subscribers and say, "Hey, got this new idea. I want to do some. Fee I want to get some feedback from you. Would you be interested in in taking five minutes and and you know taking a look at something or reading something? That's another way that you could use that." Okay, Ryan says, "I like the FAQ idea. I use my website as an online portfolio. Yeah, of course, but interact with a large majority of my clients and potential clients through social media. It would be nice to automate those answers." Yes. Okay. So there's a restaurant. Uh, there's a restaurant that we order from down the street. And every time we call them, they say, hi, this is, I won't say the name of the restaurant because they're not paying me. So, you know, uh, hi, this is on uh, Galvin Drive and we close at nine. Um, they answer the phone that way every time uh, because those are the questions that people ask the most. So the more you get, the more investment you make into getting to know what questions people have, what kind of social proof they want to see, the more you put that into this system, the more you get out of the system. It's an iteration. Email's not an iteration. It's a sitting down at your desk, composing something fabulous if you like writing, pushing it out there and going, did that for another week. This is... You write the chat bot one time, my friends. You just write it one time. You go back and tweak and iterate and get it to pull in more people, see where people are dropping off, add a message, tweak a message, bring people in, bring people in. So, okay, throw more questions in there. I will keep track uh, of the chat and I will get back on track with the presentation. Uh, very good. So, <clears throat> If you're great at email, if you love it, use it. There are some things that, that would go in an email that a bot can never replace. But if you want a new alternative, it's here. There is a new sheriff in town. Questions I'm getting for, from folks. Is email dead? Uh, no, relax. Uh, again, if you love it, use it. But it's been the communication standard for so long, and it really doesn't work for personal conversations. If you are a person who's wanting to get to know your audience, the kinds of people that might become clients or might buy something from you, this is an excellent way for to get people to get information from people without them even really recognizing that they're giving you information. It's painless for them to answer questions on a bot. It's painless for them. Um, so, um, lots of people, again, have abused emails for years. When people are looking at your emails on the, in the inbox, they're not just looking at yours. They're, they're looking at every email they've received for the last 20 years. Um, people are burned out with that medium. Um, so, again, that's a, another reason to look for something a little bit different. They're not judging you by you. They're judging you, your email by all the marketing emails they've ever received. Um, so, <clears throat> messenger bots, email comes with baggage, 20 years of baggage. Messenger bots come with no baggage. No baggage to check. No extra $25 fee. People are just like, wow, 
that just that just showed up in my email in my messenger inbox um, so another question I've been asked a lot won't Facebook kill this um, Facebook is putting a lot of money into this right now um, I am a geek who watches things like developers conferences oh oh spare me uh, that you know uh, not not super interesting sometimes but uh, on the stage this April Mark Zuckerberg uh, talked an awful lot about these bots um, and uh, an awful lot about how people can extend their communication capabilities using them so a they're putting a lot of money into it B, and let me tell you the best thing. I've saved the best thing for right now. You know how email got with everybody in the world wanting your email addresses, pop-ups on people's websites, Bing here, people creating fake email addresses and not ever opening your stuff again after they get that free PDF or whatever you're offering them. You know how crowded that marketing space is and how noisy that marketing space is Facebook is actively making sure that that never happens to this medium they're making sure it never happens by restricting when you can send people messages um, what kind of people you can send what kind of messages you can send to people to certain you know types of subscribers there's a lot of rules about this uh, it's in the Facebook terms of service on the messenger if you want to go look it up uh, or again if you want to take the class I'll explain it to you in plain English super cool um, but uh, but Facebook is making this place a place where you cannot spam people or you will face consequences and trust me darlings Facebook does not care about individuals they care about their user experience that they're trying to create much more than they care about uh, an individual who crosses the line so uh, if you're going to do this by yourself do read those and understand them well my friends because uh, there's a lot in there but the best thing is Facebook is making this into a place that cannot be abused and so people will continue to love it it's not a thing where you get on Facebook messenger bots because it's the hot thing this year and then by next year everybody is so damn tired of getting these messages um, Facebook is actively making it a good experience for people okay need to speed up because I'm falling behind here um, let's see Stacy says uh, so I looked up bots when you first told me about them and I know you can attach it to a Facebook page oh absolutely accountability bot is a attached to my Facebook uh, accountability bot page so if I want to run say uh, an FAQ program and have it do challenges for my group members do I need two bots absolutely not you can totally do that with one bot what you do is and this again this will be covered in the class but when you're starting out you want to you want to hone in on what's the bot you really want to build is a is it a bot that reflects your brand and get people in get people subscribing and then on July 27th you run a Facebook you run a five-day challenge so you broadcast out to everybody who subscribed to the bot hey I'm running a challenge you want to join and then you have two buttons absolutely and not for me right now people will opt in to that challenge you don't have to create two bots you just have to create more than one pathway for people to go through I hope that that made sense to you um, but you can do that you can do that with follow-up you can do that with onboarding new clients they've 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 you know pulled the trigger they want to become a new client of yours fantastic you're ready then you can send them into this uh, into this message train uh, magical I love it oh yeah uh, ridiculous ridiculously magical Stacy says this totally makes sense I was just thinking of email we have to make a new list with a new opt-in oh um, let's please make those days be over because here's the tough thing about that too testing it <laughs> how do you make sure that people aren't receiving um, too many emails and at the wrong time this stuff is insanely easy to test you can test it right there when you build it and that is magical for me because I know people are having a good experience because I've had my eyeballs on it and I've experienced it myself email you can do that but it's way harder to do okay very good I just made a new autoresponder sequence for my online class and I realized I could deliver it via bot absolutely and let me tell you this my class is gonna about building bots is going to be delivered through a bot duh right because I want people to have that experience 
Um, okay, so very good. Facebook is not going to be killing this uh, anytime in the near future. They're also making it work in hand in hand with Facebook ads. You can run a Facebook ad and have it when people click they automatically subscribe to the bot and the welcome message comes up right in their Facebook Messenger right there immediately. Um, that's some cool stuff. The other thing, you can target with Facebook, Facebook ads, you can target lookalike audiences. So what if you took the last 100 people that liked your bot, that liked your, your business page that you're running the bot from and said, Facebook, please create me a lookalike audience of these people that have interacted with my stuff and like it. That is killer, my friends. Um, that is much more than the post office could ever do for you or anyone else uh, that I know of. Um, so making it work hand in hand with Facebook ads, and they do want to make it a good user experience so we don't have to worry about getting overspammed with this stuff. Okay. <clears throat> Another question I get, won't people hate this, RJ? Um, do you hate getting helpful information that arrives in a timely manner? Do you? Um, do you hate getting a coupon that jeans are on sale uh, right at the point where you need some jeans? Probably not. People only hate unhelpful crap that arrives unbidden. Um, people hate that. People hate uh, they, people hate stuff that doesn't apply to them. People hate getting too much information or the wrong kind of information. The way that you construct the bot handles all of that. And it, it's so easy to unsubscribe. Let me tell you, um, I, I had a bunch of people subscribe to the Accountability Bot. About 20% drop back out. Good for me. Good for me. If they're not interested in writing, you know, something that costs that little effort, which was writing down what you want to do for the day and then answering me at night, hey, did you get those three things done? And then a couple of informational things along the way. If they can't make that effort, they're never going to make it through my coaching or any of my classes. Um, if my personality has somehow rubbed them, rubbed them the wrong way during the experience of the bot um, and they don't like me, fantastic. It's a wonderful thing, unsubscribe. Um, it is an excellent thing because that means that you've qualified some people out. And, uh, and for somebody like me, that's a real big deal. Um, Stacy, no, please send more bot messages. Okay, thanks. <laughs> for you, yes. Uh, absolutely. Okay. And so um, I did get a comment. I did get some comments immediately on the bot. One of them was, OMG, it's like an opt-in that I actually want to read. And that is uh, that that comment for me just really made uh, why why I'm putting so much effort into this and, and trying to spread the word. People don't hate helpful information that's relevant to their interests. They do hate being sold. If you care more about the sale than you do about the person that you're connecting with through Messenger, do not use Messenger bots. Go about your business a totally separate way. If you care more about getting some money in there than you do about making a connection with people, nurturing that connection, and inviting them into your circle, bots aren't for you because the, Facebook does not they don't they don't want people doing that they want people making a real connection okay very good one, one question i get asked a lot to won't this auto auto communication drive people away um i'm trying to connect with people more not less okay i get this i get this i am also trying to c communicate connect with people more and not less i don't want to spend my time trying to learn something technologically that may benefit my business and may not i want something that is more of a sure shot because i, I you don't I, 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 there's a limited amount of time in every day folks uh, i know that's the same for you as it is for me but here's the thing about the auto communication part of its auto i've already indicated though that you can start a, con a real conversation with somebody in real time, any time during the process of your bot. Um, and here is, is this as well. Um, some of you registered through this workshop uh, by email. Some of you uh, registered through it, uh, you know, because I told you in the group, hey, this is coming up. Um, some of you registered through a bot that worked, walked you through registration. I asked you some questions in that bot. What's the kind of business that you have? What are the things you really want to hear in this workshop? So you see what I did there? I crafted my workshop off of 
what people really want to hear. When's the last time you got a chance to do that? You could totally do that through a form. People that registers for your stuff, you could totally send out a survey. Awesome. What's the response rate on those bad boys? Again, you've got to click somewhere else. You've got to fill it out on your phone. People don't want to do that. You ask them a question at a time in Messenger, you get 100% people responding. And you get to build your next connection around what they want. Isn't that the kind of experience that we have all been working to create for so long now who would not love rj fools yes uh that that's true uh some people really don't they just you know they don't but they are fools anyway uh very good i'll go i'll go back um <clears throat> so you guys are already using bots in some way if you've got on your regular email when you go on vacation that autoresponder that says, hey, I won't be back into the office until July 15th, you're using, you're using automatic messages to communicate. If you've got a FAQ page, if FAQ page, you're using automatic messages to communicate. You're just using them on your website. Who out there uses automated automation to you to send their social media messages? Just about everybody, because that you have to be on there. If you didn't use automation to send those Facebook posts twice a day, you'd have to physically get on Facebook twice a day, post the thing, and then get distracted by all of the other things that are on Facebook. A huge time waste. So a lot of people are already using automation to send messages with, with two people. You're just not using it in your marketing yet um mark that yet okay how easy are they to set up i've been asked this uh, by a lot of people i have a technology degree i have a master of information system management information systems uh got it in 2012. it took me three days to build a basic bot at the i viewed all of the videos i read through Facebook terms of service. I got involved in several groups where they're talking about bots constantly and talking about changes to bots constantly. Uh, and I built the very basic sequence. Uh, it took me another two days to advance that sequence up a little bit, add keywords, add different sorts of routing for people. You know, uh, one of the things I asked, do you know about Pomodoro? Some people do, some people don't. So I, I started adding in those different paths worth of the information. So it went beyond basic. Started adding in those keywords. Uh, started adding in different different paths through the through the messenger bot. And then it took me another two days to test, uh, refine, uh, send it out to people, get their feedback on it. It took me another two days to do that kind of stuff. So it took me seven days, seven working days, so about a week and a half, and I've got a technology degree. Um, if you want to build your own bot, you can go to manychat.com right now and build your own bot. You can totally do that. Um, if you'd rather have somebody who has already read through this stuff and can explain it to you in plain English, then I encourage you to go to, uh, to go to botcampninja.com and take a look at the class that I'm offering. Um, this will cut down your building time. This will cut down your understanding time. I'm not just offering videos. Videos, uh, absolutely, there's gonna be videos and, and some bot templates too, and it's gonna be great. But what you'll also get is VIP time with me. Um, you'll get 14 days. If you sign up for the basic, you'll get 14 days worth of ask me any question you want. If you need to, you know, we can messenger back and forth or you can uh, get on a Zoom with me and I'll explain it to you and share my screen. That's how, that's how passionately I feel about this. I offer backup support. Uh, that starts from the day that you start asking questions uh, and then the, the clock starts running. Um, so, uh, so, yeah, I mean, your results may vary. Uh, maybe you're a total whiz at picking things up like this. Maybe you're not. Maybe, maybe you consider the Facebook terms of service to be something that um, you never, ever want to read because of the legal language involved. Uh, I get you. I've read that. I can explain it to you. Um, there's no need to go anywhere near the boundaries that Facebook has set down. There's no need to do that. Instead of taking the whole week, you can just shorten that learning curve. Uh, don't go down the rabbit hole of research. I've gone down there for you. I can show you the way. And it'll help you get from idea to working bot faster. You can get 
from idea to basic working bot in a few hours rather than a few days or a week. I don't know how much spare time you have, darlings, but I don't have a lot either. Um, so you can get from basic to working in a few hours and with less frustration than if you had to cobble together everything yourself. Now, how could you use this in your business? We have, we have talked about this a little bit beforehand. We have talked about uh, product-based uh, pro product businesses as opposed to service-based businesses. Um, I want to know if you have questions, I, if you have ideas about how, how you could maybe use this in your business, put it in the chat. I'll read it out. Um, I'll read to you some of the things that uh, I was built, able to build into Accountabilibot. Um, BotCampNinja.com. Thank you, Stacey Spensley. Uh, please tell me how to do this. Not enough brain cells to do this myself. I disagree heartily because I know I've had many conversations with you. I know your brain cell level. I know you don't have a spare time to do this yourself, to figure it out. Um, because, you know, what do you do? Uh, what do you do when, okay, I've, I've been served a pile of videos, but I don't understand what this thing means. And there's nothing anywhere that will explain it to me, nor anyone to call. What do you do then? Um, this class will help you through that. Um, so, okay, some ideas. Uh, how could you use this in your business? First up, freebie delivery. Um, if you've got a freebie out there, if you've got a PDF 87 ideas on how to, you know, take over the world uh, in whatever way you, you know, you, your business takes over the world. If you've got something out there that you offer to people, a free class, an ebook, a PDF, you can deliver it instantaneously through Messenger and they'll open it. I'm going to show you my, my click-through rates in just a minute. And they are nothing like what they are in email. They are nothing like they are in email. Uh, that bears repeating. Uh, so that's true. I spent all my brain cells on bot ideas, though. Oh, I know. I know you've got a list for me. Um, Stacy says, well, I just realized I got to automate monthly reminders for my co-op group. Mind blown. Exactly. So if, you, if you're a coach and you run a mastermind group, one of the big dangers of, okay, you know, you've finished the coaching program, now go on to my mastermind group. One of the big dangers is people totally just kind of, you know, they just get doing different things, um, which is totally fine, but they've paid to be in a group with you and you want to keep them engaged. If you're, if you're like me, the more people, the more people of yours get results, the more people come into your pipeline. And that is just the way that it is. So you want to help people produce results in the fastest time possible. You got to keep, keep them engaged. If they're in a, ma a mastermind group or if they're in a membership group or if they're in a Facebook group, you've got to, you know, you've got to keep pulling them in and getting them engaged so they can get those results that they and you want. Um, monthly reminders, um, monthly posts on, you know, give me your thoughts on this. I have a Facebook group, uh, many of you are in it called Stop Dreaming and Start Doing. In that group about once, uh, possibly twice a day, I'll post something that's kind of a brain bender, a little bit of a question. You'll notice that there are some people that answer the question most of the time. There are some people that answer some of the time and most of the people don't ever even hit like on that stuff because they don't want to answer the question in public. See what I'm going for? What if you could just ask them those questions privately? You'd get a heck of a lot more feedback. And that's what you're looking for. You're looking for a give and take. When you can get people to give and take with you, they've invested in you. You already know they like you. They know, like, and trust you already before you even get to the end game. Um, or the Facebook algorithm doesn't show them your posts. I know. Mm, I know, right? Uh, Facebook algorithms. Mm, they're my life. I love it or hate it. They're my life. Um, very good. So <clears throat> delivery of your freebie. Here's some other stuff. How about um, using it for feedback from the clients that you have? Um, say you sell a product to uh, five clients. It's the same product. Uh, and you want to give feedback on how it's working, what they would have done differently, would have, what would they have added, subtracted, whatever. You want to make your product better. So you send a message to just those people. And again, tagging and, you know, uh, all of that will, will enable you to pick the five people very quickly. You send a message to those five people, get feedback. Or you have an Instapot class 
Spensley. Uh, and you want to, you want people to uh, tell you how that first class that you did, you want some feedback on how that went. Send a simple three or four message sequence and all of a sudden you've got that golden feedback that you can use to iterate and change your business and deliver more of what people want and less of what you think that they want and they might respond to. Um, I, I have no experience doing that, obviously. Uh, but uh, anyway, so feedback back bot, follow up bot. Um, that is excellent stuff. I, I, I um, programmed it right into my bot, uh, both feedback and follow up so that I can, uh, I can ask people, you know, in a week, has this made a difference in your life? How has it made a difference in your life? What did you like? What did you not like? Client onboarding. Okay, you need to get some info from people sometimes. Uh, and, uh, and yeah, what better way to do that in a bot? Uh, my, that one, uh, you know, people registered for the workshop uh, through a bot. Uh, and I was able to get, get that information and take it in. Uh, it can be used in addition to or replacement of email email blasts. You know, again, some of you are doing great with those, uh, but some of you are collecting addresses because somebody told you you should, and you keep working that angle, and it never brings you anything. You can, you can replace that um, if that's totally not working for you, or you can just supplement it if it's working for you somewhat. Qualifying clients. Hey, hey, I want to know if you're a person that I want to work with, too. I don't want to work with everybody on the earth who uh, has the money to pay me. Um, I, I, I don't because sometimes it just ain't a good fit for whatever reason. I want to know. I want to know if that person is willing to do the kinds of things that I'm going to ask them to do in a class or in a coaching session. I want to know ahead of time so I don't waste your time and I don't waste mine. Um, or you can make, or, and making one bot do all of the above is the goal. And making the bot for your page be able to go all down, do, down all those different pathways so that you can log on to ManyChat in the morning and go, okay, here's how I need to change that product. Here's what I need to add to this service. Here's how I need to teach this class next time. And look, there's a bunch of new people here. I'm going to welcome them. I'm going to send them a little voice message. Um, that is what your morning could look like. So. Oh, I wanted to show you my open rates real quick. I know we're running out of time here. Um, oh, <laughs> apparently BotCampNinja.com only went to RJ. She knows where it is. I do. Uh, go, go out to that page. Click out to BotCampNinja.com. Take a look. Uh, take a look at what I have there uh, on offer. It's, you know, you get a basic class, which is the videos, a uh, couple templates, and 14 days of VIP question answering. You've got the advanced uh, which includes some coaching, some one-on-one -on -one strategy coaching uh, that will that will totally be worth your while because it'll cut hours off at the end time, uh, and uh, and that it also includes 30 days of VIP or and you can add the the black belt on to either of those black belt allows you uh, for the price of 200 bucks a month you can be involved in my private Facebook group that is bot builders only. In that group, I will be sharing changes to the terms of service, changes to Facebook, changes to ManyChat, changes, you know, extra things you can do, things that maybe you need to avoid doing, experiences. You get to put your bot in there and say, everybody, check this out. Uh, and have other bot builders review it, not just me. Uh, there's a wealth of opportunity there. Uh, I want to be a bot builder. Do we get certificates? You get a certificate with a ninja. Um, and if that isn't cool, I don't know what is. I am crazy about ninjas. Many of you know this. Uh, there will be a certificate with a ninja, I promise you. Stacy Spensley. Uh, sold. All right, very good. Uh, very good. So there's, there's basic ninja training. That's a 197 cost. There's the advanced training, which includes everything in the basic, plus a little bit of coaching for me, about two hours worth on the phone. That's $4.97. Um, and then the Black Melt Mastermind, which you can add on to either package that will get you in that private Facebook group where we exchange ideas and help each other develop our bots all the time. Um, for those of you who are super serious about this thing, I, I urge you to, to join that. Uh, it, will, it will cut hours off of your time. Do you take Bitcoin? Ryan Ridgely, you would ask that. Um, <laughs> uh, 
Um, ping me later. Let's see what we can do. Uh, because uh, I think uh, I, I I think it could be good for you, especially with some of the ideas you're developing now. Um, and I'll figure out a way to take Bitcoin if that's how you want to pay me, darling. I will. I will figure it out. Um, okay, cool. Further questions, darling. We are running up almost exactly on the hour. Remind me I need to tell you a Bitcoin story later. Ooh, fantastic. Uh, I would love to hear that. If Bitcoin is fascinating. I'm a geek. I'm a geek at heart, people. Um, more questions. How you can use this in your business. Anything that was in the presentation that just stuck in your brain. Um, oh, let me show you my stats. While you're working up your questions, I'm going to share my screen and show you the stats. Okay, let's see here and share the screen. Boop. Okay, hope, holy open rates, Batman. Let's just talk about this. So um, this is a report that ManyChat gives you. Um, and this is, uh, here's, the, here's the two columns that I want you to look at, the open rate and the click-through rate. A good open rate in most industries is 20 25 percent that is that is a great open rate okay 20 25 percent the click-through rate uh, i personally have like a 20 percent open rate on my email list click-through rate i usually have uh between one and two percent look at this for the workshop i had an open rate of 100 percent and click-through of 73 percent that is insane for the for the accountability bot, the major part of it was the morning seven day sequence here and the evening seven day sequence here. You can see that there were 84 subscribers. There were seven messages each, you know, because it was a weak bot, and of course you got a morning and an evening message. 91.6 open rate. That is insane. That is if I ever got that in email, I would never ever get out of my email inbox. So if I was connecting with that many people, if that many people opened what I sent them. And then here's the click-through rate on that. Remember, I'm getting 1-2% on my emails. I'm getting 43.7 um, click-through rate and 40% here. So let's just round both of those down to 40. 40% 40 click-through rate. Clicking through on join my group. Schedule a call with me. Let's do a Pomodoro. Um, click-through rate on stuff like that, people actually taking action and investing in themselves way before they actually get to face-to-face -to -face with me. That is why I'm throwing so much behind this, this bot business stuff. Um, okay, I'm going to stop the share and catch up on the chat. Um, very good. Uh, doo -doo -doo. What is the standard? I know, hard to standardize, but what am I looking for for initial startup and maintenance costs for a bot? Um, okay, if you want to do it by yourself, your money investment, I suggest going with ManyChat. I suggest going with a paid plan, which is $10 a month. If you don't get the paid plan, every message you send has like a link back to ManyChat. And that is, you don't want that. Trust me, you don't want that in your messages. It just makes you look weird. Uh, $10 a month for up to 500 people subscribe to your bot. Totally worth it. Um, so, um, so if you want to do it by yourself, your financial cost low, your time cost high, high. There's a lot to figure out and do. There are two leaders in the community right now, two leaders in the software part, many chat and chat fuel, chat fuel or, uh, chat fuel. Yeah. Chat fuel is more, is more of a tech technological interface. It is more clunky and less intuitive. If you've ever built a website, it's the WordPress version of a website. ManyChat is the Squarespace version, the drag and drop builder, um, the thing that you can pretty easily find your way around in there. Um, so if, you, if you're going to go, if you're just going to go do it right now, it won't cost you a whole lot in money. It will cost you a whole lot in time. If you wanna, if you wanna get me join the class, um, then of course there will be the extra added expense of the class, um, but it will save you many hours of time. So it's it, that's really more about the time thing. As I said, it took me a week, uh, a week 
seven days, uh, not five. Uh, so really kind of a week and a half to build my first bot. I have extensive technical knowledge. Um, and I had a ton of people willing to, to test with me and, and walk me walk with me through this journey. So um, so uh, it, if you don't have the tech experience that I do, then it will likely take you much longer than a week and a half. And that was a week and a half of spending my day on the bot. Um, so, so you can kind of judge for yourself, judge on your own technical skill. How long would it build you to build, take you to build one alone? Um, so good, good, good. More questions. Startup and maintenance costs. You pay for the class once, don't pay for the mastermind, then it's a one-time charge. If you pay for the mastermind, that's a next, that's a, that's a monthly. Um, but as for maintenance on the actual software itself, um, it has a sliding scale, so zero to 500 people subscribed, that's $10 a month. It jumps up at 500, and then it goes from 500 to 1,000, it's a certain price, and then 1,000 to 1,500, it's a certain price. You know, you, you know you've seen those kind of pricing themes before. Um, it, is, it is a minimal cost to have, to have the many chat software. Chat, chat Fuel, if you want to go that route, that software is free, but please be careful. <laughs> I love every one of you out there. And uh, we all know that sometimes when you're not paying a company, they can completely fold in the night and leave you a in the cold and not have you. There's no recompense for you. So watch out for the chat for the free stuff. Everybody um, don't want you to get, don't want you to be left dead in the water with no way to repair anything. Um, so, so the, for that reason and for the, the ease of use, I recommend many chat. Okay, darlings, more questions for me. You can now ask anything you feel like it. La ladies and gents, if you want to drop off, that's okay too. Uh, but I want to make sure that I get I get to everything. Those were all the major questions that I wanted to answer in the presentation. What else do you have for me? It's a beautiful day here in Omaha, Nebraska. Um, I'm so glad I got to do this again. This was so much, uh, this was a better workshop this time than the first time. The first time I totally forgot to share the slides. It was hilarious. Um, the slides were worth it. So good. Oh, I'm so glad that you said that, Stacey. I'm, I'm glad that you said that. Um, I want it. I, I hate putting up slides ever. Um, but there were so many things that I thought that you guys might get out of a strict email to chatbot comparison. Uh, that it, I'm glad that you uh, got something out of that. I'm a visual learner, very helpful. Uh, Grammy says it's fantabulous. All right, Donnie. Uh, fantastic, darling. Uh, I hope that you got. Uh, I hope that you got a lot out of that too. Uh, Donnie is another person with a product rather than a service, um, and. You know, I mean, I think of those postcards that you used to do, Donnie, and used to, you know, send them out uh, to people. Yeah, you know, that was that was your freebie. Um, wouldn't be able to deliver a physical freebie product through Messenger, but introducing people to your business, letting them know what you're all about, what is your style of painting, why do you do what you do, what drives you, letting us get to know you uh, is very valuable. Um, people, you know, people don't Google things and buy them anymore. People ask their friends, who have you got? Who's that person that you asked to do that thing? They go off of social proof, testimonials, uh, you know, people saying this was great. That will get you more people than, you know, uh, the old methods. Uh, yeah, but the postcards were fun for me. Yeah, I know. I know they were fun for you. I know you loved them. Uh, very good. You guys are the best. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you, Donnie, Rochelle, Ryan, Stacy, uh, And Gail was also here earlier. Uh, thank you for joining me and, and being a part of this. I am going to post the replay of this on my website. If you, uh, you know, need uh, some extra moments to consider, uh, what I mentioned to you was also early bird pricing. Uh, prices are going to go up uh, when the class opens, which is on July 1st, which is Saturday. Day, my darlings uh that's some craziness um so do snag your spot before then if you have continuing questions though and you maybe don't want to throw that out in front of everybody uh, i think we are all friends 
uh, I think we're all friends on Facebook. Just message me and we'll get into talking about it. Uh, Ryan says, thanks, RJ. Off to go take over the world one, two by four at a time. Oh, that is so fast. Fantastic. I just love it. Uh, till next time. See ya. See you, Ryan. Uh, thank you again for, for joining us. If anybody has any other questions, I am here for a few. I'm here for about another minute or so. And then I'm going to walk into my kitchen and eat something because I never eat anything before any of these. Um, would love to uh, would love to get any questions that you might have. And again, if you just want to message me privately, that's fine too. Don't worry about that. Um, good, good. Um, uh, we'll be here for another minute or so. Um, I'm going to be pushing these uh, pretty highly in the group and, and in all my spaces. I'm going to be pushing this stuff highly. If you know somebody that can benefit from watching this webinar and figuring out whether Facebook Messenger marketing is for them or not, please, please uh, get them get them to me. Get them to me any way you can. Get them to Accountability Bot. Get them in the group. Get them to me. Uh, and I also do have a referral program. If you, you know, if you refer somebody that pays me cash money, uh, that takes that takes pricing off of you. Uh, if if you get someone to take the class, then that reduces your price for it. So, uh, so know that. And uh, not seeing any more questions, I'm going to go ahead and close this down. You all mean the world to me. Thank you for attending today. And off, off, my friends, go and dominate the world. And I'll see you later.